So a couple weeks ago, I did an unboxing on the Golden Rule, which is basically a DIY pattern drafting system. Today's video is going to be a follow up to the unboxing where I am going to do a tutorial on how to use the system. I chose this pattern here. You can see the cute little pajama shorts and I'm going to be showing you how you take just your hip measurement because there is no bust to the shorts, just your hip measurement using the golden rule system to draft out these shorts that are the perfect size for you. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the, into the tutorial so that I can show you how to draft this little pair of shorts. All right, so first things first, we need to pick out which pattern we are going to make. And flipping through the book, there are obviously so, so many cute choices. But I wanted to point out just a little, a, a couple of things to help you identify a good project for your sewing level. And it all corresponds to this little chart, but you can see on here that there is a letter that corresponds with you know different um, pattern pieces and then there's double letters that indicate the type of garment that is um, here are your uh, the notes for the pattern pieces themselves and then these things here are what I found to be most helpful in determining which project I wanted to make. Now, I'm not paying too, too much attention to either one of these because I know how to make those adjustments for my curvy body. But if you don't, um, you can identify patterns that are suited for one or the other, depending on what your body type is. So if we look here, we can see that um, pattern number 23 is a top and it is suitable for knit fabrics. And then this is the amount of fabric that you would need to buy. This is your fabric requirements. And then there is a contrast piece, which is this here. And this is how much fabric you would need for that contrast piece. So that's how you identify kind of what you need to buy and what you're looking at. And then when you flip the page, this these are the patterns that correspond with this illustration. And so you have, um, we already went over 23. So this is the top and you can see the line drawing of the backs of all the pattern pieces are also drawn in here as well. And then they remind you about the knit fabric um, here as well. So that is everything that you need to know from the illustration itself. Everything else we will figure out as we draw out the pattern. So we're going to look at just uh, letter Z, which is number 194. And this is the fabric requirements for that. And you can also make it out of knit if you would like. So flip it over and we have Z number 194 right here. All right. So our first step, I'm going to move some of this out of the way, is to take our hip measurement. So we take this little nifty measuring tape that they sent with us. One side is for drawing out the patterns and then the other side is a centimeter measuring tape. So taking my hip measurements and I am getting roughly 124 centimeters. The next step is to identify your pattern, which we've done here, and then identify the little plus symbol that is in the middle of each pattern piece. Then you want to take your little pen and your little pen is going to go into one of these holes. Can you guys see the holes that are on the edge of this? And that these numbers correspond to the hip measurement that I just took. So I'm 124, so I'm going to put it in the 124 slot. Then you take the pen and put it through the center of whatever pattern piece you're about to uh, draft. So this one here, we're gonna do the, uh, I guess this is the front of the pants and there's a little plus sign. And so that's where the pin goes next. You put that right through the center of that square and you can see I have a little bit of tape on mine just to help reinforce that hole that we're making in the paper so that it doesn't kind of grow over time. And then I'm gonna place the pin in like through my tracing paper and then through a little piece of scrap cardboard that I have. This is just going to give the pin a little bit of something to hold on to so that um, you're not like stabbing it into your cutting mat. 
So just center it on the um, cardboard and voila, you have this now. And you can tell that this thing acts like a radius and it can spin around all the way around now. So next up, we need to start drawing out these little reference points that are all along our pattern. Oh, I forgot one thing. We do want to take this down so it doesn't move and we're ready to mark. So take your marker and you can see right here that the number 17.5 is written on along this line. So you wanna take the ruler, line it up with that line, just like so, and then come all the way down to 17. Point five, and then make a little mark. Then you come around until you find another dot with a line. That one says 18. So we're gonna come all the way out here and put a mark at 18. And you just continue going around, marking all of the dots. So this is where the uh, design um, curve and the Taylor's ruler both come into play. We are going to be connecting all of the dots. So you have a couple things that are straight. And again, you're kind of modeling it after this, but you know that the hem is going to be straight on this. So you can go ahead and connect those two dots. You're actually going to use our hip curve. So just get as close to the dots as you can matching up the top two like so and then kind of rotating it around to eventually match up the bottom two like so and then for curves like the crotch curve here well we also know that we've got to connect these two and you can tell that's at a slight curve so we're going to put that curve in here And then for the crotch curve, you can use the more curvier part of your ruler. Perfect. And then we've also got a curved um, kind of waist. So we can connect all three of these. Okay, and just like that, we've got a pair of shorts. Now we do want to transfer a couple of things. One, if you see any lettering, you want to put that in there. So we've got an A over here. And then over here, we've got a V M. V M denotes um, center front. And then we've also got a grain line. So I'm going to take my clear ruler and draw out that grain line because the grain line on the pattern piece is completely straight. Um, so we just wanna draw that out here to reflect the correct um, grain line for when we go to cut our fabric. Now, do not forget that we need to add seam allowances. Now you can go through and add seam allowances of any amount. You can do quarter inch, half inch, one inch, whatever you want to do. I have those fancy seam allowance rulers from Stitch Buzz that are five eighths of an inch. So that's what I'm going to use just because it makes such quick work of this. Um, but add your seam allowances whichever way you like best. So that's how easy it is for you to draft your own uh, pattern using the golden rule method. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the back of the shorts. And then I'm also going to draw out, this is going to be our waistband. And I did want to point out about the waistband that when you look at our little chart here, you can see on top of the waistband, there are diagonal lines. And then on the bottom of the waistband are zigzag lines. If you look here, the diagonal lines mean facing and the zigzag lines mean elastic. So basically we are going to um, cut out one piece and then it's gonna get folded to the inside and elastic is gonna get set inside. So just like whenever you started sewing, big four patterns and you had to learn sort of all of their um the language that they use and how things are drawn out and then eventually over time 
that just became very intuitive to you, the same thing is going to happen if you keep using this system over time, all of this will become very intuitive and you'll be able to make gowns, no big deal, and you'll know exactly how to put them together using the simple little drawing. So, like I said, let me draw out the back pattern piece and the waistband and I'll show you what we've got. Next. All right, we have the three pattern pieces, one, two, three, that we need to make number 194, the cutie little shorts. Okay. You're going to cut it out like you would any other pattern paying attention to fold lines and you know marking all of the pattern markings for pleats and gathers and things like that full disclosure these shorts don't have any of that but if you were you know using this uh, tutorial to make a more advanced pattern be mindful of that and then when it comes to instructions uh the short answer is no there are not instructions written out like you will find in most patterns. However, there are little indicators on the pattern itself that tell you how things are lined up. Sort of similar to Berta style and how they have pattern markings that show the order of operation. So for these shorts, you will see here that there is an A in this corner and an A in this corner. And that's how you know that this is the side seam and this is the side seam. Obviously, for those of us that have sewn a bunch, that's like, duh, I know that that's the side seam. But if you're working on another pattern that isn't so obvious, um, another pattern where you're not quite sure what gets lined up, um, you will need to use these markings a little bit more diligently in order to figure out the order of operations. I know that that is going to be a barrier of entry for a lot of people, being as they just aren't very comfortable with uh, how to sew. But another tip is for you to take a pattern that has instructions, take a shorts pattern that has instructions and use those instructions, apply it to this pattern. So if you've got another pair of shorts, they don't even have to be like the same elasticated pajama short. They just have to be something with a crotch and inseam, side seam and a waistband and you will get an idea of the order of operations that way. So you can kind of come at it from two angles, but check the description box for information on where you can purchase your golden rule kit. Um, I will also have a link to the unboxing where you can see all of the products and materials that come with that kit um, and then get to shopping and drafting. It's a lot of fun and I hope this video kind of demystifies it a little bit for all of you but that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.